this just shows yet another in a long list of examples of poor or mismanagement at juvenile court. Strong words tonight from the union representing Cuyahoga County's juvenile detention officers. They accused the court of making officers pay for their own safety. Now, after we started asking questions, the court is reversing its stance. Five on your side, investigator Scott Knoll with the story you will see only on Five. The union says it all started when a teen locked up here threatened the life of a detention officer. That teen then released on bond. Now, according to court records, he's cut off his GPS monitor. And the officer he threatened says that teen showed up here last week outside the detention center as that officer's shift was ending. Very scared. He's scared for his life. Fears recorded in this statement to the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office. A juvenile detention officer reporting, the teen has made several death threats on my life, and I feel tonight his intentions were to kill. Colin Sykon is with Local 860, the union representing Cuyahoga County detention officers. He knows that from the time he parks and goes in, and from the time he gets out and goes to his car, he's a sitting duck. Sykon says the officer took his fears to juvenile court administrators. Last week, an email shows bosses agreed to allow the officer to park in a secure parking garage at the court. But days later, one of the management people came up to my member and said, here's a form you need to fill out. It's going to cost you $80 to park in that secured parking. The union calls it unbelievable. The juvenile court would make an employee who fears for his life pay to park someplace safer than one of the surface lots around the building. I didn't know you could put a price on safety, but apparently juvenile court has found a way to do that. Five on your side investigators took those claims to juvenile court. A spokeswoman declined our request for an interview, but late today issued a statement saying in part, we are in the process of waiving the fees through public works due to this space being provided to the employee in question as a safety measure. The union relieved by the court's change of course, but wonders why it ever got to this. Live up to your responsibility, keep your members safe, and don't hang it in front of their face like a carrot that they have to buy. As for the teen involved, he's been bound over to adult court to face charges including aggravated robbery. Court records show there's a warrant out for his arrest for cutting off his GPS monitor. In Cleveland, I'm 5 on your side, Investigator Scott Knoll.